All right, we are back for another episode of Magnetic Marketing. I'm your host, Johanna Hunt from johannahunt.ca. You can head over to my website and learn a little bit more about me and how you can work with me. You can pick up my free social media guides and any tools and resources I mention inside of this video will be in the description box below. Coaching and courses are available. All the information is in the description box below. So let's get started. We're gonna to talk today about a really, really popular question and topic that I get a lot. And I, I get it with my team, I get it with my students, um, and it's just a, a really prevalent uh, question when it comes to building your brand inside of network marketing. Sometimes affiliate marketing too, if there's a product and an opportunity attached. What do you lead with and what do you create most of your content on and what do you create your brand around? So I'm going to give you some perspectives to help you make the best decision for you on what you want to lead with. Um, but here's the thing for me, when I was getting started, I found that, you know, just taking people on my journey, sharing my story, sharing what I was learning, what I was discovering, what I was excited about was actually the best way for me to get started. So. Early on, I adopted the concept of learn, implement, teach. Um, I learned that from Ray Higdon back when I was investing in coaching and courses for getting started myself. And, you know, he taught a lot of sort of taking the old school and bringing it into the new school. And I've adopted some of my own um, sort of perspectives around the approach and some of my own modalities, some of my own strategies. Um, but I did learn from some really great people back in the day. And so that was one of the concepts I learned from him. Um, and so the way it works is to really just dive into learning something new in your business. So learn about your product, use your product, turn around and share your results and your experience with your product. And the same with the business, plug into a training. Um, if you don't have great trainings to plug into, you can plug into a generic training and you can learn something, implement it, turn around and teach it to somebody else, right? And so that's one of the easiest concepts when you're getting started and you're developing your brand and you're not sure really like, you know, what your positioning is and your voice and where you fit into things. Now, I'm going to tell you that most people get started with product and actually 80% of people inside of network marketing, including some of the biggest leaders in the industry, they started out uh, as a customer and they started out because they enjoyed the product, right? You'll hear people say like, oh, if I, if I like a product, you know, I can sell it. I, I can sell anything that I love. I can, anything I can put my name behind. Now that's not completely true. Uh, there's a lot of people who love products in network marketing and don't make a lot of money, right? Because the products don't sell themselves. You need a system in place. You need proper training. You need to understand marketing um, and sales and how these systems establish to actually start to make money, right? Because if that was true, way more people would be successful in this industry and in all industries across the board. So, but th this is the thing. It's very simple for somebody to get started. Most people online are not actively looking for a business, right? They're not scrolling their news feed going, hmm, I think today I'm gonna to sign up for an opportunity. Usually, uh, you know, it, they, they wait until their back's against the wall, until they actually need an opportunity. They might go search for it. Uh, and if you've planted a seed with them, they might at that moment when the timing is right, think of you uh, and decide that they're ready to get started. But they might be more inclined to get started with an anti-aging regime or some liquid collagen or a fat blaster or something that they're already using and you might have a better product and it's easy for them to make a switch, right? Especially if they see you getting results. And so that's the other thing when you're starting out and you're not making a lot of money, it can be, it can feel a little bit more challenging to recruit, right? And you know, it takes a little bit more time to start seeing those results. If you're brand new, if you don't have a lot of influence, if you don't have a huge audience, if you don't really know what you're doing yet, um, promoting the business feels a little bit intimidating and most people don't want to do that. Most people aren't recruiters, right? Not straight out the gates. And so it is a lot easier for you to start out with a product, even if building a team is something that you want to do, but you're going to have more people 
within your current market that would be inclined to try the product, right? And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. They have leaders in the business who have an agenda and they want to hit their volume, right? Because a lot of a lot of um, compensation plans are designed in certain ways that are recruiting based models, right? And so they're going to teach you to go out and get four and get four and get four and they're going to get four and they're going to get four and everybody's going to make lots of money. And that's not the way it works, right? And so what happens is somebody new gets started and they focus on recruiting and they go out to get their four. And usually those four people say no. And the next four people say no too, right? Because you're chasing after friends and family and people you know, and you don't have a lot of influence yet. You don't have a lot of experience. You haven't built a lot of stories. You haven't built a lot of belief. And what does that do? It just hinders your belief, right? It's kind of, it takes the wind right out of your sails, right out of the gates. But if you can get started with a product that you've tried, you're starting to see some results, you're really excited about it, maybe there's lots of testimonials inside of your Facebook groups, uh, it's a little easier to share something like that, create a little bit of curiosity, start to play with the products. Um, and I'll tell you that most of my best leaders started out as customers, right? They responded to a curiosity post. They saw my results. They saw that I'd lost 30 pounds. Most people want to lose at least five to 10 pounds. Most people want to reduce wrinkles. Most people are looking for gut health solutions, right? More than they're looking for a business. It's like walking into a restaurant and if there was like as many servers as there and as there was customers or less customers and more servers you'd be like hmm i don't know if this restaurant's that good i don't know if i should eat here right um it seems a little imbalanced and that's the way it is in network marketing too there should be a lot more customers and a lot less marketers or distributors or whatever you call them in your company right and so that's really important to look for actually in an opportunity is to understand the ratio because if you have way more distributors or like wholesale buyers than you actually have customers, there's something actually a little bit broken with that model and I would be aware of, of something like that, right? That's recruiting based model. You're not going to make a lot of money in that model, even if you have huge volume because you're being paid on the lowest percentage as possible. So that's for another video. Uh, so should you get started with the product or with the business? I mean, it's really up to you, right? You can sprinkle in a couple of different ideas. Like think of having a main course, uh, you know, when you, you order something from a restaurant. I like to give analogies um, to kind of give you an idea of what this should look like, right? You're gonna have, you know, say you order a steak and some veggies and some potatoes. Think of your main course as being, um, you know, what you're gonna focus on and then sprinkle it with a few other things. So maybe your main course is product. That's not a great analogy, but maybe your main course is product. And then you sprinkle in little hints here and there about the business. And uh, what I actually like to teach, and I do this inside of my, social, my free social media guide, which is linked down below. I teach my team this as well. We work through a posting schedule uh, where once a week we post a direct business post and once a week we we post a direct product post and then you know we're always selling in our stories um that's a really like what you should really be selling sort of every day in your stories right you should be sharing what you're doing your routines um giving people an idea it, it's an easy easy sell and here's the thing too, I'll tell you is that uh, when you lead with recruiting and you lead with the opportunity and then you try and downsell to being a customer, that just has a negative connotation, right? You don't want to downsell anything in your business. So when you, when you lead with product and you bring somebody in who's interested in the product, it's a lot easier to upsell them to the business, right? It's like an extra question that you ask them when they're already interested in something, right? So if, if you're leading with the business and they're not interested in the business, it's hard to go from, okay, well, do you wanna buy product? Uh, whereas when they're already saying yes to product, it's easy to say, I'm just curious, are you wanting to make a little extra money too, right? And so better to upsell than to downsell. So 
that's what I have for you today. That's how I would answer that question. That's how I would make a decision. Again, remember 80% of um, leaders in the industry come in as a customer. They get started on the product. They start to build belief with the product. Then they start to have faith in the company and they start to understand, you know, sort of what the customer rewards are and kind of how this business works. Some of them might even do a referral post, which is basically what you're doing as a marketer, right? And it's a really easy transition for them to then become a social marketer. And so when they get started, they already have results. They already kind of understand the company. They understand like what it is you're doing. And it's a lot easier to transition them into the business opportunity, okay? Because they're already in your world now and they're already exposed, 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 which is the name of the game. And so it can be a really, really easy transition for them, right? Chances are their friends are already starting to ask them, what are you doing? You look great. Your skin looks awesome. Have you lost weight? And then their wheels start turning, right? And here's the thing too, I can't remember exactly what the number is, but most people, most people, are actually thinking to themselves, I wonder if I could do this too. And so whatever you do in your business, always remember, you know, when when somebody's following you, when you've got a prospect who's following along with what you're doing or a customer, they're always asking themselves, can I do this? And so ask yourself, everything you're doing in your business, if, if they're asking themselves that question, would they be able to answer, yes, I think I could do this too. Is it simple enough for them to do, right? And for most people, again, it's simple enough for them to share a product they love. The same way they're constantly sharing their favorite restaurant, uh, their favorite Amazon find, or their favorite Target find, or whatever. And so that's something that just comes natural to most people. Whereas sharing a business opportunity, positioning themselves as a leader, as a business owner, without having a lot of experience, not going to come as natural. So would I lead with product or business? I like to share both. I always have our company, we have a dual sided comp plan and I built evenly on both sides of the comp plan very quickly, rank advanced 10 times, um, you know, started to earn trips. And I, again, just took people on my journey uh, of sharing stories and sharing my, um, you know, my transformation updates, sharing what I was learning, what I was enjoying, you know, leading with value, leading with story, leading with transformation. And that's just how I had people reaching out to me on a consistent basis, because I was just super consistent in doing the right things and sprinkling both of them in. And also I wasn't afraid to pop the question, right? I wasn't afraid to pop the extra question and ask them if they were interested. Actually, I never say interested ask them if they were open to taking a look uh, at the business side as well. So I hope this was helpful for you. Again, you can pick up my free social media guide. The link for that is in the description box below, and I will leave you a link to my prospecting playbook as well. So you can get some language on how to pop the question, how to create conversation with those who are interested how to start to convert some of your content into actual sales and sign up. So I'll leave that for you as well. And thank you for tuning in. I will see you next week, every Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I release a new video for Magnetic Marketing to help you with what is working right now. I'll see you then.